Hey, I'm Albo, and I love JDM cars and culture. In each episode in this multi-channel crossover series, I'll go on car adventures around Japan with Captain Bradford from JDM Masters, along with our car club and fellow YouTubers Japonic, Samit, Dustin Williams, and others. Join us as we do car stuff, explore Japanese culture, and show you what it's really like in the land of the rising sun. This is our JDM life, and we are the Super JDM Bros. この番組はご覧のスポンサーの提供でお送りしました。What is up, guys? On today's video, I'm gonna be installing one of the final pieces of the puzzle. Well, probably it's not the final form of this car, to be honest, but it is one of the pieces that I have been wanting since I got the car and、uh, finally was able to get my hands on it thanks to m e d i c a d i which is kind of like the, the, the eBay of, of Japan in a sense. And I was able to pick this up. From、uh, a guy who's actually living in Gunma. But anyway, let's check out the part, but also let me just show you how the car is currently sitting. If you saw the previous videos, you know I've been doing a ton of stuff to this car, but let's just do a quick walkthrough and I'll show you、uh, some of the parts that I have added to the car lately. All right, so just yesterday we added two things、uh, this new soft top and this. Recaro RSG seat, the ASM edition. That is super cool. And I, I just love the seat. It's completely changed the feeling of the car. And also, let's see, a new shift knob. That is the Type S shift knob, which also matches the, no, sorry, not Type S, the、uh, Club Racer shift knob from the States. And it matches the Club Racer、uh, audio lid as well. But this one is one of my favorite、uh, JDM only mods, and definitely JDM only because it only fits right hand drive cars. And this is the S660、uh, cup holder, and it just fits there perfectly, and that's just great. And now, let me guys, and guys, let me just show you right now what the next mod is. Hang on, hang on. All right. Yeah, I got this recently as well from Yokohama. A、uh, Honda, that's really cool. Here we go, let's pop the trunk. Okay. And here it is. And that is my new spoiler, and that, that's a little gift the guy gave me. That's really nice of him. So let's take this out. And I've already gone through the liberty of removing the old uh, tape, uh, double sided tape there. And basically, it's gonna go it's gonna go on here like this.、So、let's, let's just put this on here like that. So, this is the thing the guy gave me. Nice little air freshener. Really nice of him.、Hmm, still smells good. It's unopened, unused. But there it is. This is the modulo spoiler, authentic one. And、uh, yeah, I mean, it came from another yellow S2000. So, I had to pick this one up. It's already painted. Perfect. And look at that. It's subtle, but it definitely actually changes the look of the car. It really ties it together.、Uh, my car has the modulo、uh, front lip as well as the side spats. And the only thing it was missing now is the rear ducktail. And yeah, wow. Okay, that's, that's pretty much perfect. In my opinion, you know, little, little touches like the yellow AP1 badge,、uh, Honda badge, it looks great, along with the, the depot aftermarket taillights and this Cusco roll bar. And even this thing, this is like an OEM option, little windbreaker thing. All these little details have, you know, really tied the car together, and I am just loving how this car looks. Wow. All right. So I have some tape in my pocket. We've got some 3M double sided tape. So let's just tape this thing up and then let's just stick it on there. Yeah. Okay. One more time. This is how it looks like a before and after. Okay. Before. Now. After.
use a different angle actually. So that's that's like the kind of the after. And there it is, the wingless look. Yeah, all right. Let's put this bad boy on there. Hang on, let, let me take a look. This is this is gonna be like the last time I'm gonna see the car without the spoiler. Really clean look. But I mean, this is really clean as well. This is the OEM, OEM ducktail. All right. All right, no turning back now. I mean, it's just gonna be double-sided tape, so worst comes to worst, I can remove it, but I likely never will. So it's just gonna look like that from now on. And in my opinion, that looks sick. All right, guys, as it turns out, I actually don't have enough double-sided tape, so we gotta go buy another roll. So let's head over to Don Quixote and uh, let's just go pick up some more tape. All right guys, let's head over to Don Quixote. And while we're driving, I'll just give you my updated thoughts on what it's like uh, to drive with this uh, bucket seat. So another thing I really like are these uh, spoon mirrors. They have a nice blue tint to them. I think they might be wide angle because it actually seems to be a little easier to see. So, kind of like immediately, like I was saying in yesterday's video, you feel really held in place. That kind of makes shifting a lot easier because you don't have to brace yourself against, against anything like in any way. And just the movement becomes much more fluid. Yeah, all the little changes I've done to this car have really, really added up. The new AP2 transmission, feels amazing with the gear ratios uh, and the shifting just became like a million times better uh, the new LSD just the stock torsion and LSD feels a lot better than the, the two-way diff actually the two-way LSD that was previously on the car and you know the soft top feels great I'm absolutely loving this guys this is uh, it feels like a new car I mean it's great because you know when I bought the car, I, I already loved it right away. But being able to work on it kind of bit by bit over the past few months and just slowly making it more and more my own has been really, really rewarding. It's really helped me grow as well as, a, as an owner and a driver. So it's just been such a pleasure. Yeah, here we go. Oh man. Oh, when Vita kicks in, woo! There's nothing like that. I mean, it, it is kind of similar to, you know, when, when your turbo spools, but there's something very pure about it when it comes from an NA engine. And those sounds, like when, when it climbs up in the revs, it just climbs so high, you know, it gets to like, it gets to 9,000 RPM, which is really crazy. Oh, it feels amazing. God, I love this car. I say that pretty much once a day. God, I love this car. It's like, thank you Honda for making a car like this. All right. We are actually here at the gym. I'm gonna come back here later. Because uh, I've got some errands to run today. You know, even while driving around town, just from stoplight to stoplight, there's no. It doesn't. It doesn't feel like worse than when I was driving my uh, stock seats. It, it just makes the car feel sportier, and because it is a sports car, that kind of makes the whole ownership experience like that much better. Just because you now you really feel like you are in a real sports car. And the materials themselves are very premium, you know, it, it's got like the ultra suede and uh, kind of like some leather accents uh, in, in the seat protector and on the shoulder pad uh, on the belt uh, protector. So yeah, it looks the part, it looks great and it feels great and I love it. 
my goodness there's so so many changes now and I'm really glad I did them one by one so I can I can really feel each incremental improvement so you know we, we started with like little things like the uh, actually quite a major improvement was the the dash uh, the navigation and then I changed the I added the gauges that was really cool or it might have been the other way around and then you know little things like the shift knob and then kind of went all out with the AP2 transmission the new diff the new soft top the new seats some aero parts each little thing just makes oh my gosh each little thing just makes owning the car just that much more fun so it's, it's really fun to be able to kind of build a car bit by bit uh, and just enjoy every step of the way. Okay, we're here at Don Quixote. This is my regular, regular spot. Sam is often here as well. We often work in our cars here together. And I made, I made several car friends just, just working out of my car from, from this parking lot. Or working on my car from this parking lot. Alright, now let's see how easy it is to get in and out. So, I find the easiest way to slide, slide back. Then, I'm using here and here. Very convenient actually, it is a thousand. Actually, that's very easy. Alright, if you've seen my videos on Don Quixote, you've seen how crazy it is. But if you haven't, well, now you see. There's so many lights and so many colors and yeah it's, it's basically like a giant like flea market well it isn't actually it's a uh, it's a normal store it's a kind of like a like a target but it really has a uh, look at this like a really local kind of wild feel to it and they have pretty much like everything you can imagine they've got like air dryers, shavers, and they have like vibrators. It's, they even have like a dedicated like uh, adult goods section over there. And over here is what we need to get. So we just need to get some waterproof, waterproof tape. So this is what I got the last time. I'm gonna get more of this. Uh, we wanna get the outdoor one for waterproof, waterproof goods. And let's see, uh, it's good for, should be good for plastic. So this should be all right, hopefully. This is pretty cool, check this out. Look at all of these current generation Tomica toy cars. They've got so many, so many new ones. You have like this uh, GTR, Roadster, BRZ. Uh, let's see if we can find any really, really new notable ones. Oh, that's cool, uh, new Type R. Yeah, and even some cool ones like a 370Z police car. All right, so at the supermarket, they always have huge variety. Yeah, I mean, this place is also a supermarket actually in addition to everything else they sell. But they also have a huge variety of like uh, box lunches, which we call bento. And these are really cheap. Like for example, this is like about four bucks. Whole set over here, all the stuff, about five bucks. Six bucks for like a... Uh, uh, a chicken lunch set. I might get that. That looks pretty good. Curry, five bucks. Man, even even this looks really really good. Look at that. They're all new. Like they they make them today. And uh, yeah, chicken fried chicken. Look look at this huge piece of a uh, chicken katsu. Like this is huge actually. It's a wide angle lens, so you can't quite see how big it is. But yeah, that's massive. And only like three bucks. Yeah, a lot of good food. So I haven't decided what I'm gonna get yet. So I ate a lot yesterday, so I think I'm just gonna go for a Spam Musubi. Super cheap too. All right guys, so can I tape this up now? And there we go. 
This stuff is expensive though, man. It's like this little roll costs like five bucks. But hey, when it's the only thing holding your spoiler, it's best not to cheap out and get like the cheap stuff. The OEM one actually has a bracket which you can use to bolt the spoiler onto your car directly. But I'm choosing not to do that in favor of just using 3M tape because I don't want to drill any holes right now at least into the trunk. But I am thinking about, to be honest, lately I've been thinking about getting a GT wing. Partially for the looks and also partially for the downforce. Alright guys, this is the moment of truth. It's all taped up. And there it is folks. It looks... Yeah, it looks sick. I'm very satisfied. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Yeah, that looks dope. Nice. All right, so this is done. So I'm gonna end this video pretty much here. Uh, I'll just open this and let you know what it tastes like. Interestingly, here in Japan, Spam is a little bit of a luxury food item. Not, not super luxury, but just kind of like, a, it's gotta be imported, so it's a little bit more expensive than back home. It's literally Spam inside a sushi roll. And it tastes exactly what you think it tastes like. Spam with rice and seaweed. Yeah, I mean, I like it. It's good. For two bucks, this makes a good quick lunch. Guys, I'm gonna end this video here. One more little upgrade to do. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next video. So, peace. Thanks for watching.